everyone. So I've filmed this about four times and it just keeps going wrong. Files get corrupted and everything like that. So I'm just gonna try and do it all in one go so I don't have to edit it. And yeah, so this is my track. You can just see it all around there. And I'm just gonna walk around the middle paddock because it's a bit easier for me to walk around. So that's one of my feeding stations. I think I'm gonna just stop putting hay there because it's really close to the water. Um, yeah, just makes them not have to come up for hay and water at the same time. I'd rather them have hay in separate places so they have to move more. But that's most of my water just there. That's my hay play, hay ball. I really enjoy that. This is my little wood chip area because I've only got a shelter that's really suitable for one at a time. But when this grows in, they've got shelter under there. So basically that's for them to lounge about in. And then there's also the shelter. My aqua roll's just there. Um, I need to put an IBC under the shelter. I'm not collecting any water at the moment, which is not really good. That's one of my ground nets. I need to collect these in. I haven't put any nets out yet this, this morning, so I'm going to collect them in in a bit. A couple more of those with different boxes and that attached to it. That behind is my little riding paddock. It's just grass for riding in, but I haven't ridden in it because I can't. You can just see they've raised the edges <laughs> and they've gone under the fence to graze it. But yeah, I think I might put um, some wood chip down in there. It's like part of my mountain block there. And then here we have ponies. It's raining, so they've all got rugs on. Hello! Yeah, hi. They like to graze under the fence. I'm in a rented field, so I can't have um, a track without any grass on it. Hi, Belle. Hi. Okay. It's your birthday soon, isn't it? I'm gonna go get him some birthday presents today. Thank you. That's so kind of you. That's Candy. Hello. Oh. Sorry about the thing on her nose. Oh, she's really um, sensitive. Give up. Just on her face. But I can't catch her otherwise, so she has to have a leather halter on. I need to move that today, don't I? Yeah, we'll change it in a minute. And then Bruno's over there just chilling. Good girl. So this is a wider open space because it was all poached, so I thought I could leave it open to him. Candy's gonna follow me around, I think. Yeah, because it was wide open, I thought, well, I can leave it. I haven't poo picked either. I can leave it open to him because there won't be much grass on there. So I've got friends. So these were the sticks that I put out. I need to put them back again. Um, I haven't had a chance to go down onto the trail to get thicker. It come in to get thicker logs and stuff. But those are out for them to chew on and play with. Coming up. Come on then. They'll obviously use this area quite a lot. I will pull fit this later today. And then I've got an empty hair net tied there. And then this is an open area for them to lounge about in which is great because in the evening this all this tree and everything shades it all up and then I've got a tire feeder which I need to fill up again as as per and this is wide open <laughs> I've got a little a little trail they come in and as we walk on up here we need to sort this bit of fencing out but it's all blocked off from them so we're doing good they come in <laughs> they like to follow me around when I poop dick so this bit gets quite wet because the water off the road runs down but they enjoy it another net there I keep these nets apart so that they can be apart a bit more don't fight evil oh, leave Bella me alone another this is a rounded corner back a bit. this is a rounded corner just to make it a bit easier when they zoom off around the track what they win what am I doing? And then they've got all this hedge that they like to browse through. And then I've made this bit a bit wider because I want this to grow out a little bit. This bit that's just sticking out. So they can come round here. And then this is the long stretch back to the top. And it's all pretty simple, really. They stand here all summer. And then I hope to strip graze this middle bit. But it still needs to grow up and everything. But yeah for now they're on the track and then they'll go in the middle paddock first and then they'll go in the very far bottom bit and then 
and that's all going to be standing here this is all hopefully going to be standing here and then they also will have a feeder when eventually the standing here runs out they've left me so yeah that's about it i'm running out of tape here but luckily they're all really respectful of it so i've never had them break through at this part <laughs> it's not on i've got a thing to put it on but it's not on i've only had, had ever had a breakdown over there break the fence down in that little area i think they pulled pushed a hay net under it once with the tire so they broke through to get to it but that's it i've got what's left of my hay over there my water and yeah it's my little tying up area just there and yeah i'm going to take these nets down and put some new ones up oh we'll come in we'll wait for them to come over come on then I'm not going to edit this one, so because I want to be able to put it up. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's annoying because I filmed it like three or four times. But yeah, this is my yeah, this is my grass track. This is all poached and only docks and whatever, but it'll all get sorted. Is there a walker there that scared you? Oh no. Yeah, I don't expect grass to go through here so well, but I'm kind of glad because I didn't really want a lot of grass in this area. Come on then. Bruno, he's seven and he's a trot across cob. Good boy. Candy, who's eleven? Ten. I should know my own horse's age by now. Candy's ten. She's cob cross. Arthritic. Cute. You cute. You actually my friend today. Yeah. Mm. No. Oh yeah. Thanks, Candy. She sometimes can be a devil to catch, but. On the track, she's not that bothered. Are you tired? And this is Bellamy, registered British riding pony. Six in a few days. So old now, aren't you? So old. And he used to be terrified of me. But now he's loving and he likes his cuddles. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't get this close to him before. <laughs> Such a cute boy. And that's my three on the track. You're like a sheep. <laughs> doesn't leave me alone. He knows it's his birthday so thank you for looking my floor. I appreciate that. Yeah they get here. I need to get some minerals for them like a mineral lick so if anyone has any suggestions of what to get and how to put, put it out so that it don't like wash away with the rain or anything like that or fill up a bucket or something with water when it rains please you know let me know because they do need some. But yeah apart from that that's it, they get Adler paid everything and they're really happy, they're the happiest I've ever been. Oh you're tired, I'm trying to get a video of you all but you keep following me. Okay. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.